With your local area news, I'm Justin Mott. Before last night's center basketball game, Center versus Huntington CHS student Kyle Parks was honored as the Built Ford Tough Player of the Month for October with an award presented by Center Motor Company. He humbly gave credit to his teammates. Uh, I only got the award because of the players behind me. They actually gave me the chance to get that award. And I want to thank my, my line for allowing me to throw for that many yards and my receivers for actually catching all the passes. So... Uh, I just want to thank the team and my coaches. Center won the basketball game, soundly crushing Huntington with a final score of 78-21. to A meeting to develop the Shelby County Criminal Justice Strategic Community Plan will be held on Wednesday, January the 4th of next year at the Shelby County Courthouse Community Room, second floor from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Anyone interested in law enforcement, the court system, nonprofit organizations, school district, faith-based organizations, and concerned citizens should come and participate. For more information, please call 936-332-4949. That's 936-332. 32-49-49. The Mount Zion Church is going to host the Sounds of the Season on Sunday, this Sunday, December the 18th at 3.30 p.m. Come celebrate the birth of the Messiah with song, dance, and instruments. Motors traveling southbound on US-59 at the Angelina River Ridge should be prepared for delays this week. Concrete is expected to be poured, weather permitting, to replace the southbound bridge railing. Traffic will be confined to one lane on the southbound bridge throughout the week. In addition, there will be a 10-foot width restriction on the bridge during this closure. For more information, please contact Rhonda Oaks with the Texas Department of Transportation at 936-633-4395. That's 633-4395. Nira Smith, a 8-year-old little girl, has been diagnosed with T-cell lymphoma. If you'd like to help support her medical expenses, an account has been set up at Shelby Savings Bank. Once again, in the name of Nira Smith. Former U.S. astronaut and Senator John Glenn, who died last week at the age of 95, will lie in state at the Ohio State House Rotunda in Columbus this Friday. The American hero will be celebrated at a memorial service this Saturday at the Ohio State University's Merson Auditorium. The Shelby County Memorial Veterans of Foreign War, post 8904 in the Auxiliary, would like to remind everyone of their ongoing recycling program for inkjet and laser printer cartridges. Please bring your cartridges by Chief Imaging at 614 Tenahaw Street in Center, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The post also accepts your recycling unwanted cell phones and rechargeable batteries that are five pounds or less. For more information, please contact the post quartermaster Larry Hume at 598-2976. That's 598-2976. Moving along in your arrest report this morning in Shelby County, Justin Bridges, age 33 of Carthage, disorderly conduct, Christopher Parker, age 36 of Center, criminal non-support, Barbara McCleavely, age 27 of Joaquin, hindering apprehension of a known felon, Justin Hasley, age 29 of Tenahaw, Theft, violation of probation, original charge, possession of a controlled substance, three counts, failure to appear, original charge, resisting arrest, and failure to appear, original charge, possession of a dangerous drug. As of this morning, there are no new arrests from San Augustine County. And in your obituaries this morning, funeral services for 84-year-old Evelyn Baggett Vance of Orange will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Mangum Funeral Home Chapel with her brother, Robert Baggett officiating. Burial will follow at the Strong Cemetery in Huxley. Visitation will take place one hour prior to the service of the Mangum Funeral Home Chapel. This has been your local and area news.